morning and happy Wednesday you guys. So today we're back with yet another Tea Time Talkie video. So I have my tea, I have a Ravenclaw mug today. Woohoo! Ravenclaw! It's very hot at the minute though so I can't drink it because I only, I only drink sort of like lukewarm tea because I'm a heathen. Just saying, it's cold here in the UK. <laughs> Yay for UK weather! So I've got my big thick boy hoodie on because you know not about that cold life. Anyway, today we're back with another Tea Time Talk video and today I thought I would focus on something kind of funny and something that came to me sort of the other night when I was in, like lying in bed. Um, and it is basically the tattoos that I'm glad I didn't get. Now, I know that I focus quite a lot on tattoos for the last couple of, uh, you know, Tea Time Talks and stuff. But I do love tattoos, I can't help it. I will do some Disney and Universal themed videos at some point, but this was just something that struck me as something that was quite funny, really. Because when you're thinking of getting tattoos, and you're a lot younger, you have the most ridiculous ideas of what to get for tattoos. Like, ridiculous. And, um, you know, it's kind of that thing where my doorbell is ringing in the background and I don't know who it is. Yay. I'm back, so that was my granddad. He's randomly arrived for some unknown reason, so now I have my granddad and my niece here. This is gonna be fun. I hate people hearing me recording videos. Oh, anxiety. Anywho, let's get on with today's video, shall we? So this is all about the tattoos that I'm glad that I didn't get, because quite frankly, they were a little bit silly. So basically, when I was younger and I first started getting tattoos, I was in a very strange place, like I just kind of was very impulsive with stuff and I'm really really glad that I'm not physically impulsive. Like I will think of things and be like oh my god that would be amazing and then I realise that it's not amazing <laughs> and uh, luckily I managed to talk myself out of getting them. Now one such tattoo that I was going to get that I'm glad that I didn't was I had a fascination with cheetah print when I was like 17. Right? Now, I'm again, I'm grateful that I was not old enough at this point to be getting tattooed, but I had a fascination with cheetah print, and for some god knows reason, I wanted cheetah print all over my left shoulder. Like, literally sort of starting here on my chest and then going all the way over and down. Now, um, I'm so glad I didn't get it done. I'm sorry if you have cheetah print. Um, that's fine. Maybe it suits you. Maybe it's like your thing, but it's just, it's something that I look back on now and I'm like, thank God I did not get that done. Because it's just, I, you're not an animal, Hannah. You're not. If you were, you'd be a wolf because, I mean, wolves are like my favourite animals. Anyway, so that was one of the ones that I'm so glad that I didn't get. I was like, you know just stupid and 17 and impulsive and just I think wanted a tattoo for the sake of getting tattooed I didn't really research into it I didn't sit there and be like hey it's gonna be in like a baroque style I don't know I yeah uh, I just wanted cheetah print <laughs> I'm really glad that I didn't get it so I'm grateful for that I have a lot of weird tattoo ideas that come and go usually influenced by alcohol um but that's one of the ones that really did stick out in my mind so there's that one another one that stuck out in my mind and mm, I'm in two minds like I'm kind of glad that I didn't get it but at the same time it wasn't a terrible tattoo I had this thing and I think it was mainly because I was watching a lot of LA Inc at the time you know Kat Von D I love her like portrait work and everything and obviously her makeup because everything I'm wearing currently is her makeup and I thought for a very long time that I would like to fly out to LA and get Kat to do a portrait on my forearm. And the portrait would be of Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. Because I just, I adore him. I do. I've never met the guy, not gonna lie. But there's just something about Gerard. I've always felt a kinship with him in a weird way. He's always been like my favourite vocalist from like my favourite band. Obviously I love Black Veil Brides, but like My Chem was my, like that was my favourite band. 
and it still is it like all the feels even now <laughs> i just i can't deal with the fact that they're no longer around i used to go to every single concert i used to dress up with every single concept from the album that they were promoting at the time i just loved them and I really, really, really wanted a revenge era for those of you who know My Chemical Romance, you like My Chemical Romance. So just picture it in your face. Uh, in your face. What? Just picture it in your head. Oh my god. Uh, these videos. Picture it in your mind. A revenge era Gerard Way in a gothic frame on my forearm. That's kind of what I wanted. <laughs> But luckily, I did have the good sense to think to myself, the only person I would allow to do a portrait would be Kat Von D. Like, I wouldn't just go to any other artist and get a portrait done. So, like I say, half of me, it's not a bad idea, it's not a bad tattoo. I'm not, you know, I'm not ragging on anyone who has a portrait tattoo. That's absolutely fine, that's down on you, that's, you know, it's all subjective to what people like. But I think... After the novelty of it would have worn off, it would have been a little weird having a full grown man tattooed on my arm. Yeah, it's a little bit strange when you think about it. Somebody that you don't know is, you know, what I'm going to put out there. It's different if it's like, oh, I got my grandfather from World War Two tattooed. Oh, I got my mother's ta uh, portrait tattooed. You know, that's cool because they're people you know. But for it to be someone that you don't know, that you've never met, that, um, it's a bit awkward, I guess. A bit weird. Like I say, I'm not ragging on anyone. I know plenty of people who have, um, like, Mick Mars tattoos, who have, um, lots of different celebrities tattooed on them. Maybe not the guy who has Miley Cyrus tattooed on him several million times, because, I mean, bud, you went a little overboard. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um... But no, like, if, if that's what you like, then it's cool. It's just, I think I would have probably ended up regressing it a little bit and being a bit like, oh, hmm, now I've got a guy on my arm. As amazing as that guy is, it's just, do you, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean with it? I don't know. I don't know. This tea's very hot. Ah, mother is nectar. Anyway, so... I'm kind of glad that I didn't get it done, but like I say, it wasn't necessarily a bad idea or a dumb idea. It's just not something that I think would have made me happy for a long period of time. Again, it was very impulsive. It was very much a case of, I'm super into this band and I need his face on my arm. So, yeah, a little bit weird. So there's that. Now, the next one that I'm glad I didn't get done was I found this image of a pentagram. Now, I am Wiccan, as a lot of you know. I am Wiccan. I do love Wicca culture. I love everything about it, obviously. Um, but it was a pentagram, and I'm going to try and find the photo that I got um, a while ago. But it was a pentagram, and it was in a circle, obviously. But it had, like, the circle was cut into four. And then it had, like, seasons, almost. So it had, like... I think what they were trying to do was whole, the whole, like, earth, wind, um, water and fire thing. But they kind of turned them into seasons, so it looked more like winter, autumn, summer, spring. So it had, like, red, uh, yellow, green and blue, I think. I'm going to try and find the picture for this. I'm going to try and insert all the pictures. But anyway... Um, I wanted that right in the centre of my back for a very, very, very long time. But the thing is, the design wasn't a great design when you look back on it. So it's kind of like, oh my god, that would have taken up like my whole back. And I'm just glad that I didn't, because I think I would have regretted it. Like, I don't mind a large tattoo. It's just that maybe not a whole back's worth for me, personally. Again, that's nothing against anyone who you know, who has a whole back piece, that's fine, that's up to you. I just don't think it suits my frame or it suits, like, me as a person. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't get that one done, if I'm honest, because I think it just would have turned out weird and it would have been really, like, fair enough, it would have been colourful, but I don't think it would have suited me, really. So, I'm glad I didn't get that done. Now, I have a lot of tattoo regrets, but 
well, not regrets, but you know what I mean. I have a lot of tattoos that I'm glad I didn't get. So I think the next one was, I found this picture, and again, I'll try and insert it. And it was a picture of a girl and a boy, but they were like emo girl and boy, and they had like skeleton face makeup on. And it was like, it was really cute. It was like a love kind of um, picture of them just standing together, staring at each other. And I was gonna get that done, that tattooed, uh, and I wanted the lyrics from My Chemical Romance because the world will never take my heart. But the thing is, I'm glad I didn't get it because it makes no sense for me to get it. I am a misanthropic person, I'm not great. If I'm completely honest, I don't actually believe in love, to be fair. Um, I've never personally been in love, so maybe that's what the problem is, but... I'm just not that person. I'm not really about love. Like, I, you know, to me, yes, I believe that love is love in the sense of you can be straight, you can be gay, you can be bisexual, you can be pansexual, you can be whatever you want to be. Like, love is love at the end of the day, and I completely, wholeheartedly support that. I support the whole LGBTQ. But, like, gay culture and stuff, I completely, completely you know, support that. I have a lot of gay friends, a lot of bisexual friends, a lot of drag queen friends, a lot of lesbian friends, transgendered friends. I have a lot of different friends. I live in Brighton. It is the gay capital of the UK, right? So I am very open-minded, but I just personally, for me, I don't believe in love. I've never, like I say, been in love. So it would have made no sense for me to get a love tattoo, really. And I think I would have regretted it, and I think it would have just turned me a little bitter after a while. I would have been like, no, I don't even know where I wanted it. I don't think I even sorted out a placement for it. But I remember showing it to one of my tattooists and kind of being like, yeah, I want to get this done. And it was a really dark, really dark, dark um, picture as well, which means that it would have been more or less like black on my skin. So I don't know what on earth I was thinking, but I was having a moment. So I'm glad I didn't get that done. Hopefully I would have inserted the picture for, for you if I can actually find it. It's probably in my backup files on my laptop or something. But there was that one that I'm very, very glad that I didn't get. Um, because, like I said, I just would have ended up regretting it and it would have made me bitter. Because, you know, misanthropic. Ha 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 ha. So I didn't get that and I'm quite grateful. Just do a video of me drinking tea for an hour, shouldn't I? Mm. I'm sure you can go on some websites for stuff like that. The internet is a scary and fun place. Anyway, so um, there was that one. What was the other one I was going to get? There was another one, which I can't really remember right now. It doesn't really come to mind. Now, one that I decided that when I had had a few Proseccos at Christmas, I decided I was going to get and I didn't get. And I'm kind of grateful, but at the same time, I'm, I don't know, I'm still kind of considering it, is the word Namaste right here. Now, if you watch my Insta Lives and my Insta Stories and stuff like that, I use it quite a lot when I'm doing videos because I think it's hilarious. Now, I'm going to tell you where it comes from, and I'm not going to lie. It comes from Adam Lambert's song, Two Fucks, that he released last year, and he says namaste right here. And it just, it makes me laugh. It really makes me laugh, because I use it all the time to all my friends, all my people at work. Like, uh, like if my manager turns around to me and he's like, can you go and work this for me? Or can you go do this for me? I'm always like, no, nah, I'm good, namaste right here. And he hates it. And that's kind of why I wanted to get it tattooed, because I was going to have it tattooed down, like, that part of my hand, so that every time he asked, I could be like, no, I'm stay right here. Because I'm that kind of employee. He hates me. Mm. So, like I say, I kind of still want to get it done, but... I know that it's a faddy tattoo, and I'm so against faddy tattoos, so I'm kind of in a con like a quandary about it, you guys. Because I think it would be funny, but at the same time, I think the appeal will wear off after six months, and I'll be like, you are an idiot. So, there's that one. The other one that I was actually going to get tattooed, which I like, um, 
again, and it's an Adam Lambert lyric, which makes me both happy and really like mortified at the same time. And it's not that I dislike Adam, I love him, I do. More than I think I planned to, which is, you know, he kind of snuck up on me a little bit. But the song Lucy from the original High album is like my anthem. I actually love it. And there's a lyric in it that says, a girl got that rebel heart. And it really reminds me of myself, which sounds really, really um, self-absorbed. But it does remind me of myself. And I kind of wanted it on my collarbone here, like, girl got that rebel heart. Because I just think it's kind of cute in a weird way. But I don't know if I'll get it because again, I'm just kind of, I've got a lot of lyric tattoos and I'm losing my hood and my life. Um, I've got a lot of lyric tattoos. I've got a lot of like quote tattoos. So I'm kind of like, I want pictures now really instead of like words. So that's, that's the thing, right? But that was one of the other ones that I was kind of thinking of getting, but I think I might maybe regret it kind of thing. I feel like I rag on Adam a lot and I really shouldn't because he is my guilty pleasure. Like I am a rock and roll kid really and he's kind of a pop king but he'll probably come and shoot me down with his glitter cannon because I called him that. To be fair there would be worse ways to go than Adam Lambert killing you with a glitter cannon. Just keep that in your mind for a whole second. Anyway that being said, this has been a really weird and kind of lackadaisical video for you all. Yes, I have a massive vocabulary, I just don't always use it. Anywho, so with that being said, I'm probably going to drink my tea and leave it here because I think that's all the ones that I can think of that I, you know, am glad that I didn't get. If you are the same as me and you have tattoos that either A, you regret, I mean, I don't regret my tattoos because I love all my tattoos, but if you yourself have tattoos that you regret, or you, again, have tattoos that you thought you were going to get, but luckily you didn't and you're so glad, do drop those comments down below because that will really entertain me. So, um, because I like to answer you guys back, obviously, and I find it entertaining. Because half the time, people will tell me stuff and then I'll be like, oh, me too, actually. Yeah, I, I always like that. Or, you know, words to those effects. Anyway, this has been a very weird, very lackadaisical, very long video. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and uh, give it a big thumbs up for me. I don't know why I'm doing this randomly with my hand. I'm tired. It's my only day off this week. I'm doing a 49 hour week. Woo! Yay for adulthood! Yay! Don't grow up. It's a trap. So... With that being said, I am going to leave it here. So, oh, I don't know why I'm repeating myself. If you haven't already and you would feel like you'd like to, then go ahead and click that big red subscribe button in the corner for me. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Also, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me because, you know, that's awesome and it helps me make more videos for you guys. And until next time, guys, I am going to check you later. So, check ya.